Well, hey guys, good morning. It's an early morning and uh, I'm gonna talk pretty quiet because I'm in a neighborhood, one of my favorite places to fish. Some of you guys uh, are familiar with my location, those that live here locally. Hey, I wanna talk to you just for a few minutes about something. This is not a real big hype and motivational and get you excited kind of video. This is something that I think is vital to your success and I wanna talk to you about it. Do you believe in your abilities? And I coach guys every single day, have many guys in the mastermind group that they struggle in believing in themselves. Well, I had kind of an unfair advantage, I think, as a child. I had a mom that really believed in me. And there was a saying, and I say it all the time, it's become my life mantra. Can't, couldn't do it, and could, did it all. Matter of fact, that is such an important mantra to me that I used it as the title in chapter one of my book, View From The Top. And here's why I wanna to talk to you about it this morning, just a little bit. If you're not gonna believe in yourself and you don't believe you can do it, like why should I believe in you and why should I believe that you can do it? Now you gotta be real careful with this because uh, early on in my career, I was uh, pretty arrogant and I was pretty cocky and some life circumstances kind of brought me back to center. And so today, I have a great amount of confidence, but I feel that it's void of arrogance. And I think it's important that you approach whatever level of confidence that you have that way, because nobody likes ego and pride and cockiness, and nobody likes that. But what people do enjoy, and what people buy, quite honestly, is confidence. You know, many, many of the companies that I started in the beginning, I didn't really know a lot about them. I mean, there was things, you know, related to construction and there was a company we used to own, a diamond exchange, and then we had the pawn shops and real estate company. And I didn't really know anything about those initially, but I wanted to get in there and figure it out. And the persistence of daily grind, working on it day in and day out, really propelled us to some level of success in a few of those. And we did have some failures along the way. I don't want you to sit here and think that everything we did, you know, was great and uh, you know it, it wasn't I mean there were some failures along the way as well but I want to encourage you today to think through what it is that you're doing professionally and do you have that level of confidence and if you didn't have that unfair advantage that I had had a mom that really supported you and really backed you uh, it's difficult then you know I got married early I was 19 years old and my wife stepped in and she became that void I mean, that uh, voice of confidence. She became that advocate. She was the one that supported me and said, you can do this. And she was my champion standing in the shadows, always encouraging me on. Some of you don't have that. And I want to encourage you to get around some people that maybe could help you get that. You know, Jim Rohn says we're the average of the five people we spend the most time with. And the reason that is such an important quote is it's true. We have to have people in our corner. We have to have people standing there encouraging us that we can do it, that we can accomplish these things. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate being around the Eeyores of the world. Everything is bad, it's gloom, I'm never gonna succeed. I don't have the ability, I don't have the resources, I don't have the relationships and the connections. And I'm like, ah, I can't stand that. That drives me crazy. What you need to do is say, hey, I do have the abilities. I've not figured it out exactly how it's gonna materialize. I don't have the resources yet, but I'm gonna go either get a partner, borrow the money, ever how you're gonna get the resources to start this, save the money, and then go forward. The relationships, hey, get off your hind end, get off the couch, go out and start meeting people that can help take you to that next level. Listen, I reach out to three to 10 people a day every single day building relationships. It's the key to your success. But what's more important, first and foremost, is that you believe in yourself. Do you really believe in what you're doing? Listen, it's not a hard sell for me to talk about Iron Sharpens Iron Mastermind. And the reason it's not is because every fiber of my body believes in what I'm doing. There's life transformation going on like I've never seen. 150 guys now in 15 different groups. 
And the reason that it is easy for me to sit here and talk about, hey, a level of transparency, vulnerability, accountability, taking your life to the next level, being around guys that can help you get that, it's easy for me to talk about because I believe in it, which gives me the ability to be successful. And that's what I want you to take today. Get a plan, work it, right? Get people around you that can hold you accountable. Get people around you that believe in you. Start believing in yourself because if you don't believe in you, it's gonna be hard to convince others to believe in you as well. So I wanted to take just a minute and tell you there's no magic formula. You know, you're like, hey, I'm struggling. I'm trying to make it in my business. Don't give up. Do not give up. I want you to continue to lay out your plan, get these people around you, work hard, believe in yourself, really get involved in personal development to a level that you consistently work on it each and every day. You know, Matt Miller is a friend of mine. He's also in our mastermind group. And I hadn't really thought about it in light of the way he presented it last week on Monday's group. He was talking about my level of consistency, meaning me. And he said, Big A, you go through and you do these Facebook Lives, you blog, you write, you call, you reach out, you do the podcast interviews. Well, listen, I'm not doing one thing that you can't do. All those things that I just mentioned are free. They don't cost anything. It costs some time, and you've got to have the discipline in order to do it. But here's what happens. You start building a tribe. You start building an audience. You provide value ongoing each and every day. And when you do that, people start to sit up and take note and say, hey, it's not just a flash in the pan. This guy is somebody that's going to be around. He's here. He consistently shows up. I can count on him. And when you do that, people engage you. And they say, hey, I want to learn how to do that as well. Do you have that level of consistency? Are you believing in yourself? And are you working the plan? Well, I got some more fish to catch. And then I got to get my rear end back home, take a shower, and get to work. Is it not a beautiful day? Look at this. I got the whole lake to myself. Where are all these people at? They've given me the whole lake to myself. Hey, I'm Big A, coming to you live this morning from Old Hickory Lake. You guys go crush it. Have a great day. We'll see you.